Storytelling is intertwined in human history. Traditions have been passed down through generations by word of mouth, while morals that we uphold as adults were most likely first introduced to us by a children's book. This unique aspect of humanity helps us construct our own realities and communicate them to others, the basis for one of the most popular and legitimate projective tests of all time, the thematic apperception test. The thematic apperception test, or TAT, was first developed by Henry A. Murray and his co-worker, Christiana D. Morgan, at the Harvard Psychological Clinic. Their inspiration came from an undergraduate student who, during a classroom discussion, talked about her son. He had been re recently sick and was at home looking through magazines. Watching over him, she was surprised to observe that he spent most of the day looking through magazines, making up stories about the pictures he saw. This posed an intriguing question. Could pictures be used in a clinical setting to release a patient's fantasies, just as this child released his own imagination? Of course it can, thought Murray and Morgan, who immediately set to work. The TAT is a projective test, which investigates personality. Projective tests use a participant's response to ambiguous stimuli to expose their hidden emotions and inner conflicts. One of the most famous projective tests is the Rorschach inkblot test, in which a patient looks at an inkblot and tells their therapist what they see. The TAT works on the same principle that people have unconscious conflicts and drives, but it goes about discovering them in a much more reliable and fruitful way than the Rorschach test. The TAT consists of a series of black and white pictures involving two people that depict an ambiguous situation. Participants are told to look at the drawing and are asked questions such as, what is the relation of the individuals in this picture? What has happened to them? What are their present thoughts and feelings? What will be the outcome? Much like authors writing their first novel, the participants will create a story based on their own experiences, unknowingly revealing their outlook on relationships with friends, family, peers, authority figures, subordinates, and so on. Upon conducting the test, Murray reported that, without exception, every person who participated in the study injected aspects of their personalities into their stories. This is the apperception part of the TAT, which takes into account that one does not only perceive what is happening in the drawing, but one constructs stories that reflect their individual personalities and experiences. Therapists conducting this test are careful with the procedure. First, participants generally face away from the therapist so that they might feel less self-conscious. As the test is being conducted, meticulous notes are taken, giving not only an exact record of the story, but also taking notes of any pauses, gestures, or other behavioral cues exhibited by the participant. The TAT has been criticized on several levels. First and foremost, its reliability has been brought into question. After all, different therapists will offer different interpretations of the same story and often unknowingly project their own feelings about the participants' descriptions onto their analysis. Second, the validity of the TAT is suspected. Looking at the stories contrived by the participants, it is virtually impossible to find any distinction between normal people and those with a mental illness. Critics have also found that the TAT is not able to predict a person's actual behavior and has little value in predicting aggressive behavior. In addition, evidence suggests that responses to projective tests, including the TAT, depend more on the mindset of the person going into a session. For example, whether or not someone had a relaxing day leading up to the test will greatly affect the story contrived by the participant. The TAT is also unable to span across cultures. Because of different beliefs and life experiences, stories told from unique cultures will produce very distinctive results, failing to establish a set of characteristics found in stories. Despite these criticisms, the TAT remains largely popular today. However, it is not considered to be the ends all of personality diagnostic tools. On the contrary, it is just one part of the psychotherapist's arsenal of tests. It can be used to get a better idea of personality, and is especially useful in diagnosing dissociative disorders and other personality disorders. The TAT is also used as a simple icebreaker between a therapist and a patient, and is regularly conducted by the military and multiple government agencies. The thematic apperception test has done great things in personality research and psychotherapy, and will likely continue to be the most respected and beloved projective test.